What's next now for Teron Millette? How about a second go around with Sean Bay Mitchell? What a great fight that would be. Yeah. I put that off for a while. <laughs> I look for See, McLennan offers no real uh, defense. Now we're going to watch the acrobatics ensue. Perfect form. The Danish judge gave it a 10. And then he goes down to a little split and then a full layout. 9.8. I give him a good number. <laughs> right. The Olympics are around the corner. Very nicely done. Let's go up to That's ring announcer Jimmy Lennon Jr. for the official <laughs> oh, you don't hear word. Me? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a time of 1 minute 50 seconds in round number 12. Our referee in charge stops the contest. He's the winner by way of technical knockout and still the IBF junior welterweight champion of the world, Jerron Trout Millet. So that's it, Teron Millet victorious, his first title defense of the IBF junior welterweight belt. We mentioned Mitchell perhaps as a future opponent, perhaps the winner of the upcoming Costa Zuma Miguel Angel Gonzalez fight. WBC title is vacant. The WBO champ is Randall Bailey, who upset Carlos Ooh. Gonzalez. Any one of those fights, Steve, wow. a great fight. Action, excitement, good fight. All right, coming up, our main event. The WBA Welterweight Championship, heavy-handed James Page, doing some last-minute preparation, some stretching there in the uh, dressing room as he takes on former lightweight champion Freddie Pendleton. Well, maybe we could call this guy the Jose Carrera of boxing. Carrera often referred to as the other tenor alongside uh, Luciano Pavarotti and Placido Domingo. Is that who that he is? He labors in the shadow of Oscar De La Hoya is that and who Felix that is? Trinidad, and perhaps the hardest hitter in the division. But he handles it with uh, tremendous dignity and patience. Well, this time is really coming up because a mega fight's coming up, and whoever wins is standing in line for him. All right, we're set now for post-fight reaction from our first bout. Let's go to Jim Gray in the ring. Jim? All right, thank you very much, Steve. Teron, seems as though it took you a little while to get going here tonight. Is that the yeah. case? Well, my, my hands, my hands were bothering me. I was trying to see how well I could, you know, withstand the pain. You're talking about the hand from the uh, Berkeley Police Department, yeah, St. Louis, just outside of St. Louis. T that, tell the folks about that a little bit. That, that baby finger that the cop messed up when he twisted my hand kind of came in effect. That's why it's all swole. But um, after a while, I got, got kind of used to it, soaked the pain up, and kept punching. And then you kind of took control of this fight. Were you ever concerned he rocked you pretty good in the second round, and then it seemed as though he got you good in the ninth round, even though you were never really in trouble? He, he shocked you a couple times, didn't he? He, he stunned me as far as, you know, coming in, stepping in with it. But as far as hurting me, you know, putting me in trouble, I was never in trouble. The conditioning, you know, played a big part. You know, that, that helped me overcome a lot of things. Because at times I got winded, and then it came right back. It came right back. And I, I, I excuse me, I took control of myself. And Teron, what's next for you? Is Sean Bay Mitchell something you want to avenge well, that's, next? That's up to my baby Don. You know, whom, whomever he said, like this. Your this, baby Don, he's been characterized hey, as a lot of things, but never that. Well, that's because we're family, brother. He's, he we're showed me love. Like I told everybody, when I got shot, nobody wanted parts of me. Don stayed after me. And now I'm world champ. I was rated number one in the Olympics, I mean, in the world in amateur boxing. And when I got shot, everybody just disappeared. But Don had my back. I signed with them six years later, and now I'm world champ. And I'm not going anywhere. All right, Teron, congratulations Let tonight. We'll hear more on your future from Don Thanks. a bit later on. Yeah. Back over to you, Steve. All right, thank you uh, very much, Jim Gray. Uh, Teron Millett overcomes uh, a host of obstacles to get to the championship. Let's check the online scoring results from our co-feature, the IBF Junior Welterweight Championship. There you see it. A runaway for Teron Millett, 10 rounds to two. If you took part, we thank you for your participation. The online voting continues with the start of our main event. Now let's take a look ahead at our upcoming pay-per-view telecast, which features Francois Botha and Shannon Briggs. It's a heavyweight showdown. Two determined fighters with one thing to prove. Former champion Francois Botha went toe-to-toe -to -toe with...